So UFC Albany right around the corner, December 9th, and there's currently an open slot at featherweight. Tiago Dos Santos is without an opponent. His opponent got pulled from the card from a USADA, uh, a potential anti-doping violation. So he's out. There's currently an open slot at featherweight. This is the time to call out Matt Bissett. We've been plugging him forever now. I've gotten to know him. We're both from Connecticut, so I, I kind of got an inside track uh, a little bit early on in his career. But this is not bias that's showing right now. He is the guy who should get called up. So we talked to him on the podcast before, and he basically said he's on a short list. Uh, what will happen is when someone like this drops out, they're looking for a replacement opponent, they'll text him. and They'll say, are you ready to go? He'll always say yes, but it's a list. So the only way he gets called up is if everybody else on the list uh, turns it down. Basically, everyone who's above him turns it down, and then he gets called up. I think he should be at the top of the list for this one. And, and even if he's not, hopefully someone else drops out. But he really should be at the top of the list for this one because he's in very close proximity. Like I said, it's in Albany, New York. He trains at a Hartford, fights at a Hartford. So that's about you know two-hour drive, very, very close. He'd bring a lot of his fans to this one. Uh, he's also an extremely exciting fighter. He's won seven out of his last eight fights, all finishes. Hasn't seen a third round. Um Five fight win streak. He's a CES featherweight champion. He's the pound for pound top fighter in the Northeast right now. Uh, it has been for a while. That's pound for pound, but you know, he could fight at featherweight. It's, it's kind of his natural weight class. That's what he's the champion at. He's fought at lightweight early in his career, so he can get called up there as well. But this is really the perfect opportunity. Featherweight fight, uh, nearby. It's, it's however many weeks notice. He's already ready to go. He's been talking about it forever. He really wants that UFC, that UFC call up. And I mean, everyone wants it, but he really deserves it at this point in his career. I think this is it. You know, I've, I've hoped for it in the past, uh, just cause he's a good guy. We've known him for a long time, but this to me is the perfect opportunity to call him up. So hopefully they do just that. Uh, we'll have to wait on this. Hopefully, uh, obviously the UFC is aware of him because they text him, but hopefully he is on the top of the list for this one because the list does sort of get shaken up. It's not concrete. It depends on a lot of different X factors, matchup, proximity, things like that. And all things considered, I think he's the perfect matchup for this one. So this is the time to call up Matt Bissett. I don't think he'll be a one and done type guy. I think he's someone that could actually have a, a real future in the UFC. He's really in his fighting prime right now, looking better than ever. And he's really well rounded and exciting. So I see no downside to this. Call up Matt Bissett, UFC Albany. Uh, I think Tiago Trader needs an opponent. So uh, that, that'll do it for me. I hope you guys are, are listening out there. However, I don't know what kind of impact I have, but hopefully uh, someone listens to me because I feel like I, I can provide some sort of insight to it. Matt Bissett, UFC Albany, make it happen.